one really underrated aspect of physical media, like VHS tapes, you're not gonna have a bunch of pop-up ads and stuff. Or those annoying ad breaks where it's like, our show will be back in 153 seconds. Let's round up that morning for you. Small saber tooth tiger skull. That T-Rex head did not come out right, but the arms did, so we remade the head. This guy's just churning out the spools. Yeah, I made spools on all these guys, but I already took them off. You know what spools look like. Our can dispenser, giant Sharko, big old T-Rex head. This one, I had a, a spool of weird filament. I just decided to give it a try, and that did not work. Got big old D20. This is another Mimic can. And got another Brontosaurus. Already looking pretty good. I also want to state... I believe the Brontosaurus isn't a real thing. It's the Apatosaurus, but people know Brontosaurus for some reason. So that's kind of what I had to call it. So it would actually show up in searches, but I believe Brontosaurus is no longer a thing. All right, getting tons of messages from you guys with uh, your shops and stuff. And a lot of the stuff looks super cool, but we got to drop off big things at Klein's. I am getting sidetracked. It is dreary out it is finished coffee time it's really starting to pour out there i forgot i had to get blood work done when i was living on the streets i used to donate plasma and the thing i learned about getting blood drawn or stuck in your vein or whatever is that the bad part is thinking about it if you just don't think about it it's really not a big deal. It is difficult to see, but we are at the dunk. Almost got iced coffee again, but I don't know. It just feels so good. The hot coffee when it's like chilly and weird out. Gotta get dunked. So randomly, the landlord called and they're going to take a look at the sinkhole in the middle of my shop. So that's nice. Things go better with rock. Yeah, landlord will be here in a minute. I mean, you can see it's gotten kind of bad. I kind of fell through here. <laughs> Let's just say we got a basement. More like a debasement. Hot coffee weather. Mm. It's gonna be a second before he shows up so we're gonna do a little productive work. Time to get all the dishes done. All the boys should be here any minute, but I've taken the opportunity to print another one of these guys. You can see all these tapes on top. Really need like probably two or three more of these things. Baby, I'm a bad man. The guy is here. Weirdly, almost every time the landlord has showed up, the mailman has also showed up at the same time. Here we go. Well, we're getting that taken care of. Um, tomorrow, he said he's gonna send somebody out to put plywood and then drill down and actually attach it. And then I told him we can't do anything in Christmas. So probably January, we're gonna like pretty much tear up the entire floorboard and replace it, which will be fun. I'm thinking I'll get a discount on my rent. Oh, it took forever. He had to look at all this stuff. I think I'm just gonna order a Subway sandwich and then we're gonna finally get to doing stuff. <laughs> just placed my order. Oh yeah, FL699 is working again. Really good deal. I was gonna segue. It's a little too rainy out, so we're going old school. Man, I'm so glad that FL699 is back as a coupon code. It's gonna be so good. Back at the shop. I think I can take this thing off. That feels good. We're gonna eat this Subway sandwich and then we are going to put this thing together because I am so sick of not getting that done. I've been trying to get that printer put together for like forever, three days or something like that. That actually really hit the spot. 
let's put together this turd of a bat. So this one did not come with the screws and stuff. Not a huge deal, but I'm gonna have to ferret them out of something else. So I've kept most of the boxes that came with the other printers and they do have a couple of these extra ones. So I think, I think we're gonna have enough. There we go, that will do it. Well, the uh, Z axis installed without too much incident and we'll just test everything else out. Ah. Connect all the thingies. Ugh. Time to see if it powers up. And we have liftoff. I'm just gonna test everything, identify any problems, and then we'll fix it. But the last one went pretty smooth, honestly, so I'm not even thinking this is gonna be a big deal. After a few, we've tightened everything down and everything works. I think why this one was returned is this x-axis carriage, if that's what it's called, was super loose. So what you do, for anybody that doesn't know, when you have this and it just won't tighten around the extrusion here, you actually bend this. Like what I did was I took pliers and grabbed on to kind of this part and then bent it like that. And you bend it until it clamps adequately on here. And then you can kind of tighten the thing and it gets nice and snug. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's working good. So I think this is a fully operational battle station. Well, we got a bunch of other things squared away. Now we're gonna do these Sharkos. D20 cookie cutters. I was using some of that highlighter yellow I had. David. David can. Uh, this is going some metallic color, I can't remember. Couple stringies, nothing crazy. Bob Marley. Mimic can. Came out pretty solid, just a little stringing, but this will be nice. This guy is going metallic silver. There we go. David. Getting later in the day, you'll see we are pretty well spooled up now. So that's nice. That's probably gonna be enough spools to fill up the other part of the wall. So we might not even have to make more. Master Hobbit, can you sing? Oh, what a day. Did a lot today. Like I promised, we are going to feature somebody's shop in this segment, on this show, in this episode. I got a lot of people messaging me and we're going to have a bunch of shops for this part of the show. Like I said, we're gonna probably do this once a week. If I get a whole bunch of them, maybe we'll do twice a week. Today, we have LT3 Studio with Chris. Chris from Norway. This is for the Scandos out there. He and I have been talking quite a bit, um, not just about 3D printing stuff, but I have a real interest in languages. I taught myself German for etymology. And if you know German, you can kind of read a Swedish and Norwegian and Danish is like a third that's a little bit distant and you can kind of tell some stuff about Icelandic and things. So that was really interesting and he studied languages a bit too. But uh, he's got a really cool shop, like I said, LT3 Studio. And I asked him to make a little video explaining a bit about who he is and a little bit about what he likes to print and maybe show the setup he's got a little bit. So we're gonna cut to that now. Hi, uh, I'm Chris. Um, I'm in my mid-30s, I'm from Norway, um, and uh, due to a little back injury I had earlier this year, um, I've been stuck at home quite a lot, so I took up a new hobby that didn't care uh, if my back hurt that day or not, um, so if I get to it that day, that's nice, if I don't, that's nice too. Um, I've always loved technology, and 3D printers is a really cool technology. 
so yeah, uh, my uh, little maker space looks like this. It's a little bit messy. And if we pan around, you will see we are in my garage. <laughs> so I shared the space with my car, but that should be fine. Um, yeah, I like making a lot of different things, but I like making, uh, well, I have a passion for like cute things. Uh, so a little bit of Studio Ghibli stuff. Um, uh, so yeah, this is what I'm making right now. Um, I like making other things too, like these guys, they're not the size uh, that we're used to seeing on uh, this YouTube channel, but um, they're still kind of cool, I think. So yeah, uh, and my printer setup is uh, equally as cute, I think. I do have a hard hat, just in case. Okay, I have an A1 here with the multicolor AMS unit thingy. And here we have an A1 Mini, also with a thingy. K3 Cobra, it's making another T-Rex with its multicolor thingy. And over here we have my first and my latest printer. So this is my first printer, K1C. It's cool for making uh, unusual, not so PLA stuff. Um, it's not that often that I need to make anything special, but if I do, I've got it and I'm glad to have it. And I have uh, my newest. It's another little A1 mini, uh, simply because there isn't that much room in here, and uh, this guy fits perfectly. So yeah, that's a little bit about my my little maker space um my tiny operation so yeah thank you for uh letting me introduce myself and uh my stuff so uh as an international member of the gratitude gang i feel i have to say in norwegian that i am very thankful for the gang and i am very glad for being a part thank you Great stuff. So for all of you Europeans out there, if you want a really great shop to buy from or do some custom orders and stuff like that, he might be a good guy to message. We're going to link his shop in the description. And um, yeah, member of the Gratitude Gang being featured number one. But like I said, if you want me to give you guys a shout out in a little moment to say a little bit about your shop, what you're into, blah, 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 blah. Just message me on Facebook and add me as a friend, and I will be happy to do that. I want all of us here in the Gratitude Gang to get a sense of each other and like what we like to do and stuff we're working on. And it doesn't even have to be, I, I know people that don't do 3D printing in that same way that a lot of us do. Like they'll, they build machines or they have processes that they do. Some of them make filament. So if you do something like that, we would also be interested in hearing about what you do. So, you know, write a comment, message me on Facebook, add me, and we'll make it happen. But yeah, onto the gratitude. That's the money right there. Well, I guess the most obvious thing is I'm glad that my floor is gonna get fixed. And they're at least gonna do a temporary thing tomorrow. I guess the picture that I sent my landlord kinda didn't look that bad, and I didn't, I wasn't being like very urgent about it. When he actually saw this, he's like, oh, that's that's way worse than I thought it was. He's actually a pretty good guy, so I don't really impute ill intent to him at all. I mean, he's got a lot of stuff. They got a lot of properties and stuff, but they are going to do something about it. Yep, it's time for the gratitude gang up. Tell me what you are grateful for. Tell me what cool things you're working on. What uh, new printers you might be messing with. Maybe you got new filament stuff you're trying different techniques. We love hearing about that stuff. And just the small moments that enrich your life. It could be coffee. It is coffee for me. Or it could be walking your dog. Or it could be paying your bills. Some people really like that. Do not hesitate to send those things into my comment section so that we can read it. So thanks in advance for the comments. And we also have the first gratitude gang selfies we've got a few of them in 
And if you guys ordered one of these and you've got it, send me that selfie on Facebook and we will add you to the great montage. So peace out, everybody. Have a great one.